A gang-fueled crisis in Haiti is raising new questions about whether we could see a wave of Haitians seeking asylum in the U.S. This comes as several political groups there try to form a presidential council to help stabilize Haiti. Fox's Jared Halpern has more. As chaos escalates in Haiti, there are new concerns about Americans still in the country. The U.S. military evacuated some non-essential embassy staff over the weekend. And on Tuesday, Florida Congressman Corey Mills and his team rescued 10 U.S. missionaries. But State Department officials say they do not have a firm number of American citizens still trapped on the ground. It's impossible for us to know for sure. There are several hundred Americans uh, who have registered to receive more information uh, when we can provide it to them. Violent gangs have gained control of much of the capital, Port-au-Prince, shuttering government buildings, roads, and the airport. And now several political parties have rejected a plan to create a transitional council and name an interim prime minister. None of this is easy. None of this is um, going to happen from one day to the next, but at least there is a, a, a plan. The Biden administration is acknowledging concerns. The crisis could lead to a mass exodus of Haitians seeking asylum in the U.S. Governor Ron DeSantis is deploying additional resources to the southern coast of Florida to address a potential wave of migrants fleeing the violence. Lawmakers are urging caution. We've got our own border crisis going on right now, and I think this would only make it worse. We need to help them, but anybody coming into this country needs to be properly vetted. Meanwhile, the Pentagon has deployed a Marine unit to Haiti to bolster security at the U.S. Embassy. In Washington, Jared Halpern, Fox News.